Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished part three of the Mathematical Tripos at the University of Cambridge, which as I say in all of my videos is basically a fancy way of saying that I study a maths masters and I have filmed so many videos that I haven't had a chance to edit yet. So here they are, I'm posting them over the summer to show you what I was getting up to throughout my time on my masters. So first things first, this is my college, it is Sydney Sussex College and I always take videos of it and post them in all of my videos because I love my college so much. We also saw Eleanor on our way to the Union which is where we're going to study today. So this is Sydney Sussex Hall Court and it is so stunning. I just enjoy walking around Sydney because the grounds are so pretty and the gardeners make such a nice job of all of the gardens. So this is the back of Sydney, it's called Cloister Court and it is quite literally spectacular. Uh, a lot of people sit out here, especially when the weather's nice, and eat food and do a bit of studying. And it's just a nice, friendly environment at Sydney. I was so fortunate to be put into Sydney Sussex because it is such a friendly college and they have been absolutely wonderful with everything that's gone on this year with my seizures, which if you don't know, there's a video explaining everything about that. So today, one of my very good friends, Jason, took me to the Union to study there in the morning. So this is the Cambridge Union where a lot of debates happen. I'm not actually a part of the Cambridge Union, but if you want to check out more information, then they have a whole Instagram page and everything. There's just a lot of debates on there um, and a few of my friends are signed up to it. So this was the Union and Stephen Fry is quite famously known for giving talks at the Union about his time at Cambridge. So this is where a couple of other talks happen. I was quite excited to just have a little tour around of the place. So this was where we were studying and the table is probably the longest table I've ever studied at before. Um, but yeah, so it was a really nice environment to be in. It was so quiet on the morning because not many people get there that early. I then found a globe, which I was quite mesmerised by, if you can't already tell from the video. So after I'd had a little bit of a play around with the globe, we then sat down and got a bit of work done. So today really was just going over example sheets and also catching up on a few lectures that I had to do. And for those of you that don't know about Part 3 Maths, it is known as one of the hardest maths courses that you can do in the world, which I didn't really realise when I signed up to it. I signed up for the modules and yeah, it, it definitely feels like that. I'm going to release a whole video on everything to do with Part 3 and kind of answering all of the stereotypes and yeah, uh, everything to do with Part 3. I'm planning on filming a very, very long video explaining everything to those of you that are interested. And as I say, part three is just another way of saying that I'm studying a maths masters. So I spent the morning going over an astro statistics example sheet, which is one of the modules that I was taking as a bit of an aside this term. It's one of those modules where I hadn't done stats in a long time since maybe second year of uni, apart from there was a bit of statistics in my dissertation. And I kind of just fancied something new. I was really enjoying the astrophysics modules uh, that are integrated into part three. And I just fancied a bit of a change. Here is the lecture notes for one of my modules called Extrasolar Planets, Atmospheres and Interiors. And this is actually the module that I, out of all of my exams, I did the best in. And I think it's because I enjoyed it so much. It was something so different to anything that I'd learned before. This is our lecturer who is an incredible lecturer. If any of you are going on to do part three and you're interested in, in astrophysics, then definitely take this module. I enjoyed it so much and got to learn so much about planets, which if any of you have watched my previous videos, you'll know I absolutely love astrophysics and planets and everything and we learned about magma oceans which are pretty cool and then we headed back to sydney so this is one of the this is the jesus lane gate entrance sydney is one of those colleges that you don't really realize it's there and there are kind of little passageways little doors to get in um, i was showing one of my good friends from leeds around and he lives in cambridge and he was just like you don't even realize this exists because it's so well hidden away from the public it's not one of those colleges that is you know out and open I then got back to my room, made myself a cup of tea whilst showing you the view, which I'm sure all of you that watch my videos will probably get a bit fed up of the amount of times I show you this view, but it's just because if I have any new followers or people that are watching my videos that are new, I just want to show off this view because it's amazing from my room. So I made myself a cup of tea and then drank it in my little Miss Sunshine mug and headed for lunch. And this is Sydney from my room this is the kind of back of sydney that's the master's garden there which we're not allowed into because it's reserved specifically for the master himself and this is the little walkway that i get to do this is sydney sussex hall and it is so pretty it's so stunning so beautiful and the fact that we get to eat in there for our lunch not only for formals is really really nice i then grabbed some free from rocky roads ate them 
and then headed to the Union Library and watched a guy jump into the river, which was quite entertaining. This was during one of the hottest days in March, and yeah, it was quite sad to, <laughs> to have to walk to the library where it was also quite warm and not be outside enjoying the sunshine, but yeah, sometimes a degree, you kind of have to sac make those sacrifices. So this is the entrance to the university library, so Cambridge's university library, and it is huge. As I said in one of my other videos, it's home to, I think, around 8 million books, and it very much feels like it when you when you go in, there are so many books, and it's just, it's very easy to get lost. But I actually went to one of the study rooms, so if any of you are Cambridge students or planning on studying at Cambridge, this is one of the nicest places you can study. It's so quiet, or at least when I went. Here's me giving you a little tour, so there are plenty of desks with plug sockets. So I sat down, got my desk reserved, although there was nobody there. And then as a bit of a break, I decided to show you around the study area. So there aren't many study areas in the university library. There are a few desks which are kind of interspersed throughout where all the books are, but I've never found them nice places to study. They're just kind of desks at the end of bookshelves. Whereas there is a dedicated study space, which is in this area, and I really, really loved it. So I sat down on one of the hottest days of the year and got on with my dissertation. So for those of you that don't know, at part three, you're allowed to write a dissertation or a thesis or an essay, whichever you'd like to call it. And you get a list of titles that you can choose from and you choose one and then you write an essay on it and that goes towards your final grade if you choose to submit it that is you don't actually have to submit a thesis as part of your part three so if you're somebody that does so much better in exams than essay written you know research then you can do an extra exam instead but i prefer research i prefer doing essays and writing and, and thesis and dissertation and after how well my dissertation went at my undergrad i thought okay this might be a good way to, to bump up my grades for my final. And it did. It was actually the module that I did the best in. And I managed to get 87% in my dissertation in the end, which I cried over because I wasn't, I didn't expect to get that high a mark. Um, and yeah, so I, I worked very hard on it. Maybe a bit too hard, <laughs> but this is just me writing it up. So I may have mentioned in previous videos, but the way that part three like you to write up your essay or your thesis is using LaTeX. So if you're a math student, you'll understand what that is. It's basically just a place that you can write up maths. So nothing really that fancy about it. It just means that you can write maths on paper instead of doing it through symbols in Word, which is a nightmare and doesn't look quite as nice. So LaTeX, I would recommend, even if you're actually not doing maths, just to look into LaTeX because it's actually so nice and it makes your writing look so neat. Now, as part of your dissertation, you don't have to do any coding, but for those of you that know me, know I'm obsessed with coding, hence my coding channel and everything. So I decided to do a bit of coding in there. And it was really just to plot a few graphs that I had kind of proved analytically and just wanted to show the behavior of them on a graph. I then finished up writing my essay and I was going to head out of the library and I was going to meet my friend Keshav and Louise because we were doing a shop for Ukraine donations. So Keshav doesn't actually study maths, he studies environmental policy and he put a message in the group chat asking if anyone wanted to, to donate and he'd got a few donations and I'd put some donation in as well. So we went to pick Keshav up and then did some shopping. And this is also Sydney Back Gardens. So here we were doing our shop and we managed to get a very big shop. One of Keshav's course mates donated £50 to the cause and we managed to get a lot more stuff from Sainsbury's as well as Boots and this was all of it in the end. And Sydney Sussex themselves were asking for donations to be sent to Ukraine so this was our contribution towards it. So after a very very busy day of doing my dissertation I then jumped into the shower and got ready for the formal with Louise. So here we are ready for the formal. I realise most of my videos include a formal but I just kind of want to sh show you a bit of variety other than just doing maths all the time. This was me trying to find the sleeve of my uh, of my gown, which which is quite a nice feature. I really like that about Cambridge is you kind of feel like you're in Hogwarts. So here we are with all of my postgrad friends and the MCR. So the MCR is used to study, but it's also used for drinks and just social, which is really nice about it. It's kind of you always feel like you're not burning yourself out too much because there's always someone there to talk to. So here I am with all of my friends. This is Sydney Sussex Hall, which I showed you earlier when we were just having lunch. 
Here is Cameron, who is the joker of the group, who's very funny. Uh, he's currently doing a PhD. Then here is the food. Now, sadly, I made my food look disgusting because I accidentally dropped my bread into my soup. I honestly really love formals at, at Cambridge, and I think it's one of those features of Cambridge that I'll take away as some of my best memories because it's just a chance to sit down and chat with your friends over some gorgeous food. You know, the staff are so nice, especially at Sydney. We have such nice catering staff. And it's just a chance to be with your friends. This is Morgan, <laughs> who uh, loves to greet me. Morgan is one of my postgraduate friends. She's absolutely hilarious, and you'll see her pop up in a few more of my videos. But the reason we were here is because there was a St. Patrick's formal, and I just remembered what day this was. It was indeed St. Patrick's Day. So the nice thing about Sydney MCR is that the postgraduate community organise a load of postgraduate events which are away from Sydney, Sussex themselves. It's just a chance for postgraduates to catch up. It's just a really nice chance to meet other postgrads. And Sydney has quite a large postgraduate community. I mean, it's quite small compared to other colleges, but it's large enough that you get to meet so many different people from so many different areas with so many different backgrounds. And it really is just so nice to have such a range of friends and that's something i've really liked this year at cambridge is the people i've met they have been absolutely incredible so that is the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all in the next one